Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you a pretty ridiculous Rose Girls haul. This is from the Ready to Ship, the most recent one where she had uh, overpours from the Mario pre-order and then other stuff. I went a little bit nutso. Like, I don't know what happened. Anyway... I'm going to share with you what I got. There's a lot of mini Melter bags here. A lot. I ain't going to lie. So we're going to get started. Grab a drink because we're going to be here for a little while. First up, I have Holiday Hangover at the Castle. Eggnog, apple fritter, roller sugar cookie, and whipped cream. I love Rose Girls Wax. This is so good. The eggnog in here is like a creamy eggnog. I don't smell a lot of cinnamon. And oh my gosh, the apple fritter is where I get a little bit of the cinnamon note, but it's really far back in the back. And then that royal sugar, royal sugar cookie adds a nice sweetness to this. Oh, it is so good. Next I have, and some of these I purchased during the pre-order. So I'll let you know, if, and I'll link my pre-order haul up here, but there are definitely some repeats from that haul. And this is one of them. Yeah, this is one of them. Birdo and Bowser's Bonfire. I got like repeats on all the ones I wanted. I don't know what I was thinking. Campfire Marshmallow, Toasted Graham Crackers, Confetti Cake, Toffee Butterscotch Pretzels, Cookies, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Marshmallow Fireside. And this is good. It's on the lighter side. I, I think definitely smell more of that Marshmallow Fireside and or Campfire Marshmallows but it smells nice. It's kind of a lighter bakery scent. It smells good. Next one is Have Yourself a Merry Mario Christmas. I did not pick this up during the pre-order. Peppermint Mocha and Dunk My Donut. And that's really good. The Peppermint Mocha is not the nose clearing peppermint that I'm not a big fan of. And you can definitely smell like the, a little bit of that cinnamon from the Dunk My Donut. It's really good. A really nice blend. I grabbed another one of my favorites, Koopa Troopa Assault. I love this one. Raspberry sauce, pomegranate, sweet lemon confection, and marshmallow smoothie. I melt this in the summer and winter because it's, it goes both ways. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I love it. It's a beautiful lemony, kind of a sweet lemon, not tart, delicious blend. I freaking love it. Next I have wild raspberry coconut cake. Okay. I was so excited about this one. The wild raspberry is what I was super excited about because I've purchased a couple of things from Jenny's mom's company, scoopable wax tarts that has, or scoopable wax melts that has wild raspberry and I'm obsessed with it. So I immediately was like, I need this bag. Wild raspberry coconut cake. And this is amazing. Oh my gosh, you smell the wild raspberry is a beautiful berry and you definitely get that coconut cake in the background. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites from this order, one of my favorites. I have a repeat from the pre-order Yoshi the Red-Nosed Dino. This is raspberry sauce, pistachio, and marshmallow fluff. A really good staple blend. Definitely a cherry leaning pistachio, but I still love the scent. Wicked Plumbers, another repeat. Birthday cake, lemon cheesecake, waffle cone, and carbs. Carbs is donuts, cookies, and bread. And this one is so good. I'm a huge fan of lemon with bakery. I think it's so, like, I love melting it any time. Mmm, that is so yummy. Okay, crushed candy cane peeps cake. I don't think, I think this was just offered in the ready to ship. I don't think it was offered in the pre-order. So this is crushed candy canes, ice cream, yellow cake, sugar covered marshmallow peeps. And I really prefer the crushed candy cane oil versus a peppermint oil. And yeah, this is amazing. You definitely get that candy cane note in here. Uh, and like with a little bit of bakery in the background. 
I really like this. You can definitely smell that yellow cake. I like this one. This is one of my favorite peppermint scents so far. Oh, I forgot to show you my sample. My sample is strawberry white cake and cupcake at Tiffany's. And I do have this in a full size mini melter bag, I believe. It is so good. It is so good. You definitely get that strawberry, strong strawberry note and the cupcake at Tiffany's in the background. It's good. All right, moving back on to mini melter bags. This is peppermint mocha sugar cookie dough. This is peppermint mocha and sugar. Wait, did I already do this one? No. I was like, this one's very similar to Have Yourself a Merry Mario Christmas. I think that's what that one was. This is peppermint mocha and sugar cookie dough versus Dunk My Donut. Yeah, you see, there's more of the mocha in here than the other blend. And maybe that's because of the sugar cookie dough. It smells really good. It's just, if, you, if you're not a big chocolate fan, I would not recommend this one. I grabbed two bags of this. I think this may have been a mistake on my part. <laughs> Blackberry sugar plum birthday cake. Not, I mean, I'm happy to have two of them, but I don't think I'm me meant to buy two. So that, yeah, just blackberry sugar plum birthday cake. It's so good. If you like blackberry, then this is a fabulous scent. It's more of a, like that blackberry sugar. It's not a spa scent, but it's definitely a sweeter blackberry. And I flipping love this. Love. I don't mind having two bags. <laughs> Next up is Cookie Land. I wanted to have another one of these as a, like a mixing bag. This is confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. Yeah, that's amazing. I need to, I'm going to pull one of the bags out that I grabbed and kind of keep it in the kitchen as like a mixer in case I ever need it. Wow. Wow. I know that'll get stronger the more I let it sit. Now this one I purchased a second bag of from the pre-order, but I'm not 100% sure on this scent. It sounded really good. So pear, this is rocking around the question block. Pear, Stussel Kuchen, almond, biscotti, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and vanilla bean ice cream. So the, let me smell this first. I feel like the more this sits, the more I like it. Like even since I got it in the pre-order, At the first time I smelled this, I felt like the pear was more of a spa leaning pear, but the more this has sat, it's definitely changed. And I smell way more pear that's like a true authentic pear versus a spa pear. Yeah, I'm liking this more and more the longer it sits and it's only been like a week or yeah, it's only been like a week. This is really nice. You definitely smell the pear. Uh, the Streusel Kuchen, all, and let's see. I'm not 100% sure what Streusel Kuchen is supposed to smell like, but this is a really nice blend. The Almond Biscotti, it adds a, like a little bit of a carb note to this. I really do. I, I am starting, this one is starting to grow on me. There's not a lot of pear scents that I, I don't have a lot of pear scents in my collection. And it's not that I don't like pear. It's just not a scent that I gravitate towards. So I'm glad that one's growing on me. This one I picked up in the pre-order. Pink sugar, royal sugar cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and cotton candy frosting. And this is really good. It's on the lighter side. So I think it needs to sit for a while, but you can totally smell that pink sugar and the bakery that goes with it. Ooh, it's so good. It's so good. I think this could be a good like bedroom bakery scent. And I don't really like to put bakery in the bedroom, but because of that pink sugar, it adds like this bedroom note to it, or it would be good in my opinion in the living area. So that's, those are the two areas I would probably try it. Another repurchase. This is Bodacious Bowser. Dunk My Donut, Monster Cookie, Waffle Cone, and Green Apple. I don't have a ton of apple scents in my collection. That's like vendor wax. Even Scentsy, I don't have, I don't do a there, There's not a lot of apple that I love. But this one is really good. I like the green apple note versus a red apple or a mac apple. I don't like mac apple at all. 
Yeah, this is really good. I, I really like the combination with the Dunk My Donut. It adds a little bit of that cinnamon note in the background, but yeah, this is amazing. This is a really good apple blend. Waluigi's Winter Carnival. I always feel like I'm saying that's that wrong, and I may be. Cotton Candy, Vanilla Bean Noel, Cupcake at Tiffany's, and Candy Cane. Candy Cane. This is such a great blend. I really do like that candy cane oil is what I'm liking here. And I can definitely smell the Cupcake at Tiffany's because it adds a little bit of that chocolate note in the background. And that cotton candy adds a little, and the vanilla bean oil add a little bit of sweetness. It's really good. Princess, it's cold outside. Blueberry pumpkin pancakes and brown sugar. This is one of the ones in the pre-order I think was my least, one of my least favorites because I really couldn't smell a lot in this one. And I'm still not smelling much. I'm thinking, I mean, I just think it needs to, hopefully after it sits for a while, I'll be able to smell more of the blueberry pumpkin pancakes, but it's very light. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to keep both bags. I may let them sit for a while and see what happens after they cure for a while. And if that note comes out, if not, I may end up like destashing one of these. Next, I have Star of Wonder, Star of Night. I did not pick this up during the pre-order originally, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up during the restock. This is Strawberry Euphoria and Serendipity. I have a bag of this. And I remember the first time I ever ordered from uh, Jenny during her, like the first ever Mario pre-order that I participated in. This was offered and I didn't get it. And then I got a sample and I was like, what? This is amazing. And I melted it and loved it. So I have a bag right now, but I'll, it'll probably end up getting melted this spring, summer. So I wanted to have another bag as a backup. This is a great fruity blend. Now, if you're not a big fan of fruit, I would not get this, but I love fruity scents. And I feel like this has, it's a fruity blend with, like a little bit of complexity with the serendipity. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's a great scent. Koopa Claus is coming to town. This one is Royal Sugar Cookies, Gilligan's Brew, and Baked Zucchini Bread. I can't remember if I picked this one up during the pre-order. And this one is really good. Like I, I thought, I'm always really scared about zucchini bread because I don't, I haven't historically liked it on its own. I historically in the past was not a big like yeasty bready note fan and I don't think I, I am still but this is growing on me and I think it like this scent is amazing amazing and I think with zucchini bread as long as it's mixed with a bunch of other things I really like it <laughs> so anyway that's beautiful Pistachio Cookie Land. Pistachio confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. I really would like her to do this blend in a toasted pistachio, like a non-cherry leaning pistachio. This is great, but I, I really want it to be non-cherry. Non-cherry. Please, Jenny. Okay, I grabbed another bag of this. This is Koopa Claus Needs a Latte because I'm obsessed with this scent. Espresso, baked zucchini bread, roll sugar cookies, and Gilligan's brew. This is flipping amazing, you guys. If you love coffee and you've never tried this, oh my gosh. You gotta get yourself a bag. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Another one from the Mario pre-order that I did not pick up. Rosemary mint, Gilligan's brew, and vanilla lace. Now, I think I've tried this one in the past and didn't love it, but, you know, I'm revisiting things that I may not have loved in the past and just trying them again. So this is one of them. And, you know, again, it's the, the mint part of it that I haven't historically been a fan of. So now that I'm enjoying that scent, scent in wax, I wanted to give this a shot. This is really good. I think this would be a better, like, bathroom scent but I don't I don't mind this I don't necessarily know that it's a favorite but I I actually do like it I think the rest of these are new to me well some of them have been new to me as well all right so let's do this one first frosted glacier Christmas camp out 
peppermint, campfire cookies, marshmallow fireside, palo santo, and a hint of pine. I thought that I would try something with a hint of pine because I'm trying to see if there's any tree type notes other than like vanilla birch that I actually can tolerate and like. So I thought, okay, this is a hint of pine. Maybe, maybe I'll like it. So it's got, yeah, Palo Santo, hint of pine. This one's okay. I'm definitely going to try melting this, but I'm not 100% sold on it. I think it'd be a really good bathroom. Again, bathroom melt. I feel like that's where I put all this stuff. So we'll see. I'm not sold on this one yet. Next, I have Yoshi's Sleepy Island. This is beautiful color, so I love purple. Matches my shirt. Gilligan's Brew, Apple, Lavender, and Pink Sugar. Do I have lipstick on my face now? Definitely get the lavender. I definitely get the apple. To me, the apple is a red apple in here. I'm not smelling too much of the pink sugar, which is, I think, what I would, I'd like to smell more of. This one, again, I'm kind of like, maybe. I'm not sure if I like the combination of these scents together, but again, I'm going to try melting it and see what happens. Okay, next one, Lake Kingdom, Salty Sea Air, Blackberry, Peppermint, and Rain. Okay, I like Salty Sea Air and Blackberry. Rain, I'm a little iffy on. And Peppermint, like the nose clearing one, I'm iffy on. But I wanted to give this one a try just to see if there's a rain note, a rain scent that I actually can like, like fall in love with. And this one is really, really good. It's the Peppermint is not overpowering this scent. I definitely get the rain, the salty sea air. I'm not getting a ton of blackberry, but I know it's there because there definitely is a fruity note to this. This is pretty good. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to feel about it. It smells good, but once I get melting, get to melting it, like how much am I going to like it? I'm not sure. So we'll see, but it's, it's a lovely blend.
Okay, let's do this one because I took a chance. I, as you can see, I took a chance on a lot of things. This one people talk about all the time and I've never purchased it because there's scent, there's a scent in here I don't like, but I wanted to smell it. I've never, I don't even think I've gotten a sample of it. I was like, I just want to see what the deal is with this scent and it is Thwomps. I mean, this has pine, which I don't like pine. Peppermint, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallow. I can handle the peppermint, of course, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallow. It's the pine that's always like held me off on this because I'm not a fan of tree scents, but I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. People talk about this one all the time. Okay. Peppermint, I definitely get the pine. It's a nose clearing peppermint. I can't say that I smell the sugar cookie dough or campfire marshmallow on their own, but I, there's a sweetness to this and I'm sure that's where that's coming from. So I'm going to try this because I want to try it. I'm not like, no, when I smell this, it's not like I can't do it, but it's also not something that I'm like, cannot wait to melt that. So I think my gut on this was probably accurate, but I do want to try melting this in the bathroom to see how it does, how I like it, I like to get my final thoughts. The other thing is, is I cannot tell the difference between the different tree notes. And so having something with pine is helpful because then I can help discern. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to make a difference for me because I'm not a big tree, tree scent fan, but you know. All right. Next one I have is La La Land. And I think Jenny posted in her ready to ship like list that her father calls her La La. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. So this is peppermint, cotton candy frosting, and beach nights. I love beach nights. Love. And you guys, this is amazing. Oh my God. The beach nights in here. It is so good. The peppermint, like it's not heavy peppermint. And the cotton candy. Wow, this is really lovely. Really lovely. Nice job, Jenny. Wow. Next, I have Banshee Boardwalk. This is s'mores, salty sea air, marshmallow, and sea salt. And I think this is just her beach nights type. Because that's what it says in the parentheses. I don't know if it's a house blend or if it's just the straight up oil. And this Beach Nights is wow. It leans a little bit more on the feminine side. I love it. I need a lot more of this. It's intoxicating. If you like Beach Nights and are wanting to try something that's a little bit different than what you typically smell with Beach Nights, try this. Because, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. Oh, I got two more. Well, let's do this one first. I got two more. The first one is Peppermint Cupcake at Tiffany's. That's exactly what it is. It's really good. It is a bit of a nose clearing peppermint, but I can definitely smell the cupcake at Tiffany's in the background. I've gone crazy with the peppermint. I need to slow my roll on the peppermint because, you know, it's a lot of peppermint. And then lastly, I have Fireside Cookies with Cream Cheese Frosting. And this one is Warm Cookies, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cream Cheese Frosting. This is so good. I totally smell the, the Marshmallow Fireside in here, kind of that smoky note. And the cookie note in here is really good. As is that Cream Cheese, the whole thing is good. The whole thing is good. It's amazing. All right. That is everything. <laughs> it's time to slow my roll. It's time to slow my roll. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well, staying safe and melting through your wax. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.